Oh, barely hooked now, barely hooked. Oh. Hey guys, what is happening? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another exciting episode of Lost Horizon Fishing. Well, I just launched off of Bolsa Chica State Beach. Fairly windy conditions, but not too bad. The water is a excellent 71.6 degrees. So nice. Seeing a little signs of life on the bottom. We got the Nomad out there. See if we can pick up a fish. So let's get busy, let's go fishing. I'll tell you what, boys. June gloom is definitely in full effect. Man, it's like this every morning. But eventually, we're gonna get some sun, hopefully later on today. I hate filming in the gloom, but what can you do? Uh, really good marks. Come on. Come on! There we go! First fish of the morning! I feel like a very big fish. Hey, come yeah, I can see some pretty nice marks in there. There we go. Got a little different camera angle on the front today. You should be able to see me a little bit better. Oh, well, it's just average size little sand bass. Okay, we're still calling that first fish of the morning. There we go. Let's get him back in the water. There he goes, back down to the deep. Oh yeah, more good marks. Definitely got something underneath us now. Come on. Ooh, there we go. Decent fish? Maybe not though. I always say that. Fish number two. Definitely better than the last one. There we go. Look at that guy. Not too shabby. Okay. Oh man, 
there is just all kinds of life down there today. Big school with something going by here right now. Hey, not a bad fish. Let's get it back in the water. There he goes. Oh, wow, what was that guy eating? Yikes. Almost looks like some squid. Oh, gosh, get that nomad back in the water. It's funny, <laughs> we're drifting north pretty rapidly, about one and a half miles an hour. So as soon as I get over those fish, we're, we drift off them pretty quickly. But we'll be back on them again here shortly. A lot of life down there today. Should be pretty fun out here. See if we can get a big fish, a fish we can be proud of. Oh, just in time. That's a pretty good mark down there. Oh man, any second now. Let's pause the video for a moment and talk about the benefits of trolling hard baits behind the kayak. If you watch my videos, you know that it is by far my favorite way to catch fish. Most kayak fishermen are familiar with slow trolling a live fin bait behind the kayak, but trolling hard baits behind the kayak, like the two examples on the screen, is often overlooked. Here's just a few reasons why trolling a hard bait is a good option. Number one, try as you might, live bait is not always available or easy to find. Having a hard bait ready to troll the moment you're out on the water means you're always fishing. Number two, trolling hard baits allows you to cover more water. Unlike trolling live baits, you can troll hard baits as fast as you can pedal or paddle. A live mackerel, as well as other fin bait, won't be alive for long if you attempt to troll it at speeds over two miles per hour. Being able to cover lots of water with a hard bait can really reduce your chances of being skunked on slow days or when you're exploring a new fishing area that you're not familiar with. Number three, when you're trolling live bait, the health and status of that bait is always on your mind. Questions like, is my live bait still swimming strong? Is my live bait still alive? Or worse yet, is the live bait still on the hook? We've all done it. You've been trolling a live bait for 15 or 20 minutes. You reel your line in only to find a bare hook. And you wonder, how long has that bait been gone? When you're trolling a hard bait, your rod tip will vibrate in a very distinctive and recognizable way. You don't have to guess or wonder. Just a quick glance lets you know that your hard bait is swimming strong and swimming properly. Number four, most predatory fish that bite on live bait will also hit a trolled hard bait. Here's a list of fish I've caught trolling hard baits in my videos. Yellowtail, thresher shark, black sea bass, calico bass, sand bass, bonita, or is that bonito? I'm always confused by that. Halibut, barracuda, and even a sheep's head. I know if I can count the sheep's head, that was kind of an anomaly, but he did hit that nomad. And finally, number five, and this is a huge one for me, trolling hard baits is fun. There is nothing quite as satisfying as trolling a hard bait, seeing marks on your fish finder, and then seeing your hard bait get slammed. It's looking crazy down there. Oh, there we go. Yeah. 
definitely a better fish. Unless he's foul hooked. Oh yeah, super nice fish. Yoo-hoo! Big old sand bass. Oh, barely hooked though, barely hooked. Oh, yeah, woo! That was a close one there. <laughs> Got him. Don't, don't send me and the boys down there. That would be very, very bad. Think about it. Woo! Look at that guy, huh? That's what I'm talking about. Nice fish. All right, let's get this monster back in the deep there. Oh, there he goes. Okay. That guy out there. Cloud here looks like. Oh, that might be kelp, I'm thinking. Let's see. Oh, well, maybe not. Oh no, we got a fish. Nice. Fish, but still, we'll take him. He's okay. Uh. Yeah, the Nomad seems to be the hot ticket today. All right, let's get this guy back in the water here. Oh, gosh, that guy took a little bite out of me there. Come on, head on down there. He's moving kind of slow. There he goes. I feel like I've got to get at least one fish with a hookup bait. Definitely see some marks down there, but not even a tap tap on the hookup bait. Yes, red crab is not on the menu today. I much prefer using hookup bait. Oh, a little bite there, finally. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, hookup bait fish. Not a very big one, but we'll take them. out of the fish. Got back in the water. Oh, die, but hey, okay, finally red crab scored a fish. And I guess we'll get back to trolling. That's a whale platform Emmy right behind me there. About, I don't know, maybe a mile and a half offshore. The easy paddle. Although it wasn't that easy coming out here because I was paddling against the swell and the wind. 
But you know, the wind is wind is not bad. The wind's kind of laid down pretty good. But I should be able to cruise at a much quicker speed going back this way. So we shall see. Feels like it. Something. A little sand bass. Just got back in the water. There it goes. Well, all right, guys. I am going to call it quits. I am back at the launch spot, a couple hundred yards offshore. I've got most of the gear put away. Gonna paddle in, go home, get myself some lunch. Not a bad day on the water. Uh, the water's pretty warm today. A little over 71 degrees, not bad. That probably bodes well for the future. I got that one really nice sand bass and a bunch of other random fish, so I can't complain. So all right, guys, hit that like button, subscribe, and press that notification bell so you know when the latest Lost Horizon fishing videos are released. And as always, I will see you out on the water. See if I can get in dry. That almost never happens. <laughs>